<laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of it right here. Let's set that aside. All right, this is incredible. If you haven't already subscribed yet, what the hails are you waiting for? What are we doing today, Jeremy? Today, we're gonna dig into the $820 unit that we bought up in Youngstown a little bit of a while ago. Everybody's been dying to see what's in this unit, including us. us, yes. So there was a trunk in there, all kinds of collectibles. We didn't have time to actually look into it. We showed you a few things, but there are so many more things to be found. Tons of boxes, tons of totes. Can't wait to dig in, so stay tuned. Totes, my goats. You ready to open her up? Open it up. Let's see, we have so much work to do on this unit. It's gonna be days and days, but probably even a week. And I said, are there any good ones? And she said, well, this guy has been renting forever since 2002. 2002? I said, yeah. I was Whoa, like, that's so, a long time. So I said, is it a big one? She goes, oh, it's a big one. And she goes, it's old. And I said, how much is it the average cost? She said, average it at $100. We did the math. He has paid over $20,400 to actually insane. rent. Now, what did you see, George? The make me bid seven hundred dollars. Boxes. As and she totes. asked, "What totes. the hails are you doing, totes Jeremy?" And more totes. We're digging a big hole into the trailer. Obviously, we can't show everything, but some things, such as this, you can see. We'll make a ton of money. This is a beautiful antique piece. I think they actually refinished it. So one of the things you don't want to do is refinish these old pieces. You have the original hardware though. So these pieces, there was quite a few beautiful pieces in this actual unit. You see here we got the old tag on the back as well. We'll do really well. Just with the furniture, we'll do really well with this unit because it's good furniture. Time to dig into some of the cool things in this unit and boy, if this is the start, who the hails knows what other cool things we're gonna find. We got a sweet Tonka truck. Now, the whole thing isn't metal. This is plastic. The dump bed is metal, so this is a more contemporary version, but still real cool truck. We'll do real well with that here in the warehouse. And then I think this is an old chamber pot. You see the porcelain spots where, where it's actually chipped off, which that distressed looking is just, just so desirable in anywhere in today's home where they're looking for decoration. I mean this, that primitive farmhouse look, whether this is a milking can or a chamber pot, I'm not sure. If you know, do you think this is a milking can or a chamber pot? Let me know down below in the comments which you think it is. All you gas and oil fans are about to geek out. Now, these old oil cans are really dirty. There's heavy duty, there's HOD, but they are super cool. There's the old Sohio non-detergent right there. 20W. There's just some really cool stuff in here. There's the Premex. Yeah, this is just, ah oh man, I, I know some of you are geeking out right now. Duron right there, world's finest motor oil. So for gas and oil, which is a huge, huge area of collectability, this is a jackpot, another HQD, huge jackpot. And we've got, here's some Quaker State. There we go, there's some Quaker State right down there. Um, one of the things that I sold on eBay once was a old can of Ford motor oil. And it wasn't punched in the top yet. And it, uh, well, it did really, really well. And so it was filled with oil. I sold it on eBay and I shipped it. And I want you to guess, how much do you think I sold that can of Ford motor oil for? Put your guess down in the comments. At the end of the video, somewhere before the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how much I actually sold it for. There's another Quaker State. So if you find the oil, don't be afraid to actually sell the oil. Oh, there's the Sinclair with the dinosaur. 
right there, there's the Sinclair dinosaur. Let's just clean it just a little bit. Oh, man. The guys from from uh, American Pickers would be go crazy right now. Remember, I'll tell you the price at the end. One of the things I really like about this unit is the signs of quality. Look at that. Handmade baskets, long a burger. Oh, these are, this isn't even just a basket. This is cup holders. So, or not cup holders, those would be cup, I forget what you call them. But whatever they are, that's what they are. You put your cup on them. So when you see these signs, like this here, there's a long a burger. Over in Dresden, Ohio, this is about an hour, 15 minutes away from me. You see these signs, it gives a good anticipation of what else can actually be in here, $19.99. Now, Longer Burger isn't what it used to be by any stretch of the imagination. Unfortunately, whether you call it poor management, poor leadership as the family took over, or if uh, it was just a fad that died away, that that's besides the point for me oh look at this we got longer burger items in there for me and we got an mvp card there we go uh 2002 mvp so we'll set that aside looks like we got some pumpkins in there uh for me this is still a quality sign because at one time longer burger was where it's at and we can see 1999 when it was at its peak they were spending the money on those quality items. Again, my gut instinct is that this person actually owned a McDonald's franchise. So we've got all kinds of Longa Burger, and this is cool stuff. Even that, is that, yeah, that's Longa Burger too, look at that. A little bit damaged, a little bit dirty. I think that's a plant holder, that's probably a Longa Burger. Sure is, Longa Burger as well, for the plant. George loved this unit because there were McDonald's fries all over it. She calls them crack. C-R-A-C-K. In other words, addictive drug french fries. She loves them, can't get enough of them. And look at this. More signs that somebody actually worked or owned a McDonald's. These look like all hap yeah, Happy Meal toys right there. So there's Bumblebee mask. There's Transformers Bumblebee. These are all sealed. There's a My Little Pony. This is all sealed. Look at this. There's Super Mario, Yoshi Bingo game. There's all kinds of cool stuff. There's more My Little Ponies. Now, if you ever look up the old Happy Meals, look, there's Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars Episode 3. If you look up the old Happy Meal toys on eBay, go to eBay. Just punch in McDonald's Happy Meal or Happy Meal toy. And then go to sold. You don't want to look at active listings or live listings you want to look at the sold listings and you'll see if you sort it from highest to lowest then some of these go for big big money now i don't know what any of these go for unless i look them up i don't know how old they are some of these look more contemporary if they're the new the new uh my little pony movies and transformers look at this it's a bop it mcplay bop it for my hasbro i love the bop it's a ton of fun Oh, here we got the tiny beanie babies. The no, this is National Geographic Kids. I don't remember that. But yeah, it came in the Happy Meal though too. So <clears throat> it looks like we have a little bit of everything. There's another Bop It. Here's a sloth bear. Here is a maybe this Arctic fox. Yeah. So looks like we got a ton, a ton of Happy Meal toys. We could just sell it as a lot, as it is on eBay. George just found this case and handed it to me as she and the others are working on all this stuff. It's heavy. So let's find out what's inside. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, oh man. Oh man, I'm not even sure I can. Okay, it's really heavy. It's so heavy, it's pulling apart. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Okay, here you go, guys. Here you go. Remember when you used to watch the movies and you would see all the burglars go into the house and steal all the silverware? Well, this would be the silverware you would want to actually steal because this 
actually has silver on it. Wow, this is, this is an incredible set here. Okay, this is Rogers and Son, okay? So that is, let's see if we can, I'll do the best I can without trying to lose this. This is Rogers and Son, and it's a complete set. You can see here, I guess it's probably, I don't know if it's ever been used or not, but my goodness, look at the shine. No doubt it could use a still another polishing. I don't even know how, I don't know how to price this. We'll have to look on eBay. For all you yarn lovers out there, look at this. More yarn. We get so much yarn. So much yarn. And it just comes and 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 comes. Oh, wow. So there's all kinds of yarn here. I... I don't know if you put a value on this let's just say we'll say a dollar a dollar a thing of yarn okay I don't know what you call a thing of yarn that's not a bolt and it's not a ball and we'll just say we'll say there's twenty dollars here of yarn maybe thirty in this Dollar General bag that might be a good bag just to have to go to Dollar General and you're out in the middle of nowhere in the desert or in the woods or in a farm field and you got a you got a hanker in for Dollar General. There's probably one going to pop up right there and you'll have the bag ready to go. Let's open another one up. Yeah, here we go. This is looking good cuz I see a signature. Wait, let me get over here. Let me see. I see a Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay. You see that? We got a Leon and it's an authentic signature right there. Nice. Okay, we'll have to get this checked. Now the good news is that's actually that's in a case, protective case, so that's good. 1992. In the 90s, the cards aren't worth as much. Here's a no no hit club. Oh, look at that. We have a signature there too. Nolan Ryan actually signed this. The no hit club. That's a 91. We'll have to take a peek at that. See what's going on there. We got we got some cases that don't look like they're doing much of anything. Maybe they go to this. Okay, we got a few cards. We set those aside. Oh, this one's on a plaque. All right, Shinso Chu. This is Cleveland Indians, I believe, number four. Maybe if I put it in the actual viewfinder, and it looks like it's actually autographed there too. I don't have a certificate of authenticity, but very, very cool. Obviously, that's we root for the Cleveland Indians. Absolutely love them. And if you root for the Indians as well, let us know down in the comments because we want them to clinch the division and obviously the series. Here we have, all right, this is Slider. The Plain Dealer is the local Cleveland paper and Slider is the mascot for the Cleveland Indians. So this looks like Slider Slippers. Kind of crazy there. And we got Ohio State Brutus from Taco Bell. No, Tostitos, Arizona, not Taco Bell. Read it wrong. Oh, here's another Shinsu Chu bobblehead. Let's see if it's in there. It sure is. Yep, it sure is. Look at that. It's in there. Let's we'll pull it out. There he is. That's good news right there. Okay, this is looking good. Sports collectors. This I mean that's money. They spend money. Here we got a little bat. We got Akron Arrows. Akron Arrows, they have a phenomenal park. Phenomenal park. Which I guess they changed the names for everything, but there's the Cleveland Indians baseball. That's a cool baseball. Uh, but I love that park that they play in. It, you just, it just feels so close and personal. Oh, I see Slider Bobblehead right here. All right, there we go. There's a Slider Bobblehead. So there he is, there's our mascot, Cleveland Indians. And then it looks like Sizemore. So there's Grady Sizemore bobblehead right there. And let's see what we have here. We've got the 1985 Cleveland Indians right there. Wow, they look young. I was young back then. Now, uh, whoa, what is this? 
Turk Edwards. We've got a Chiefs there. Football Stars, number 11. Boston Redskins. Man, it's missing stuff. It looks like, here, it looks like we're going to have to check this out. It looks like it was in this case. And it must have it must have gotten out of the case. I wonder if this is original. All right, I'm going to set that aside. And we've got Indians Bob Feller. So we've got, um, I don't know quite what it is. It looks like we have two of them here. Let's open it up. So probably two people went to the park. And, whoa, look at that. Looks like they got a bronze statue of Bob Feller. I know you all want to get in that trunk, and so do I, but we don't have a key yet. So we have to keep searching until we get the key, and we will show the trunk as soon as we can. But we can get into this little Tupperware here. This looks pretty cool. Let's take a peek. And then we got another collection off to the side already. We're going to look at that. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, didn't expect to see that in there. So we got a Jim Bean belt buckle. But what you do see is Cub Scouts. So that's why I was giggling. I saw Cub Scouts and I saw the patches. So this is... I'm going to take the other glove off. This is obviously... Somebody was doing a lot of work with all of these patches. Now, patches, again, are collectible. That's a whole other area of collectible. Military, scouting. So you got all kinds of stuff in here. Really cool stuff. Great trail council. These are great things here. The Jamber Rail, Rail. Uh, it's really, really great stuff. There, there's a zoo patch even. So people love patches. All kinds in here. You can sell in bunches and it's a lot, or you can individually sell it. Look at this, we got all kinds of pins too. Which again, that's a whole nother area of collectability and obviously Boy Scouts and and Cub Scouts. This must be a, you know, in place, I, I haven't been in it in a while. Actually, I was never in it, my parents wouldn't let me. But uh, always wanted to be a part of it. So this must take the place of the actual patches would be my guess. Since we've got different things here. You guys probably know better than I do. Or maybe this. Maybe this takes the place of the patches. So you got good manners. Disability awareness. There's a ton of stuff in here. Look, more, more handkerchiefs. That's Tiger. And look, we got a bunch of patches on the actual handkerchief. There's cubs. Some cool stuff. Obviously some artwork, awards. Uh, just a lot of patches, a lot of patches. Look at here, here's another one. No way, there's two of them. No, look what I just found here. Not only do they have the Jim Bean belt buckles, got the talon to do some damage once you get the Jim Bean in you. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Uh, bag of marbles, that's kind of cool. And here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it right up. Uh oh, that, oh, there we go, just lost my marbles. Wouldn't be the first time. It's a little Winchester knife right there. No doubt those of you who know your collectibles know that Coke is one of the greatest collectible things out there and people will pay big, big money. And these people, they definitely had a Coke collection. Here's the airplane. There's in Tennessee, I know there's one in Tennessee and there might be other places, there's an entire store of just things that are built out of Coke cans. Like you can get a full plane such as this or a hat Let's see what else we have. Well, back here, I'm gonna just show it to you right now because there's more back here. We've got a choo-choo train. Look, we even have the bell there out of the Coke cans. So people turn this into an art form and it's really pretty cool, really cool. And we even have a Conestoga wagon. So check that out there. Now, I am a bit disappointed because these wheels don't look like they're actual Coke cans, 
but they could be they could just be turned inside out but I gotta say they went above and beyond on the coke horse so that makes up for it and there's not only one of them there's actually there's two of them although this one's lame we might have to put him down no 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 I found him I found him there you go there's that horse's butt so we're good there let's see what we have in the actual coca-cola basket if it has the word coke on it it's collectible and they had the collectibles so right here we have a basket let's see what's in ah not what I wanted I wanted more coke I got more yarn oh but ooh, 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 ooh. I'll take it I'll take it not bad not bad at all bicentennials here's a bicentennial set right there coins so a lot of the coins we do collect coins we hold on to the coins they actually go into my lockbox for my kids into the trust for my kids and so at one point at some point my kids will inherit all of those coins and they'll decide what to do with them and they'll probably go what did dad even save these for looks like somebody was sewing the American flag Wow yep definitely sewing the American flag in the coke basket and didn't quite finish yet some other projects in there too let's just set that aside and we got another box here see there was coke on top so I thought well maybe this must be all part of the collection Whoop, lost the Conestoga wagon again all right here we go three two Hey, there's coke. There is. Okay, here we go. There is. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of it right here. Let's set that aside. All right, this is incredible. Okay, here we go. I wish we had the dates on this. So, this coke stuff, people love it, obviously. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, there's a Coca-Cola and then a McDonald's. My guess is... Piccadilly Circus 89 Christmas. So I'm sure they owned a McDonald's, which is why they loved the actual McDonald's picture too. Look at this. Now we got Coke pins. For all you Coke lovers and pin collectors. Here's another one. Man, this stuff is cool. Coke is it. Wow. Okay. All right, we gotta be, they didn't make this too easy. Okay, we got the Coke glasses, and then we got New Mexico shot glass inside of the Coke glass. Oh, look at that. Snow White and Coca-Cola. Wow. Didn't see that coming, did ya? Oh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. Oh, man, these are beautiful. Drink. Coca-Cola, delicious and refreshing. They're stuck together. They're so old, they're stuck together. Okay. Must be that corn syrup. Coca-Cola ashtray. Oh, look at this. We've got some Coke cans. This is good. Okay, we got, we got the Vikings Diet Coke. Got more Diet Coke with NutraSweet. Actually... You hear it? It's in there. It's definitely in there. You hear it? It's in there too. More Diet Coke. Here is classic. Oh, here, here's a bank. Here's a bank. Okay, there's definitely something in there. How do we... Can you guys see in there? Do you see it? Can you see it? All right, there's definitely money in there. Look at this. Such cool stuff. Okay, there's a mini Coke bag. Oh, they got, they got mini Coke stuff in everything. Coke glasses. Look at those keychains, mini Coke. There's another one. Coke cars, mini Coke, Coke top. Wow. Wow. Here's another 
Coca-Cola pin. Always Coca-Cola. Here's a canister set. Yes! Oh, wow. This got to have some age to it right there. That, that, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see what we actually have in this bag. And it's probably easiest just to pour it out and see what we have. Oh, wow! Guys, look at this. You could never get away with that now. This is a Coca-Cola refreshing and delicious with a nude woman on it. Belt buckle. Ah, hopefully. Coca-Cola playing cards. This is from, I don't see a date. Looks kind of old Coca-Cola truck. Look at all these pins. Oh, I think we just found a, a mint. Oh, smell horrific stickers, Coca-Cola. Santa Claus Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola 87 cards. Coca-Cola ornament, circa 1949 is what it says, but it's 1990. Look at this. Uh, more, oh, that one broke. Coke stuff. Original Coke caps. Coca-Colas, mini Coca-Colas in a playset. Coke, Coke, Coke. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that old tin. Let's see if we can get it open without causing any damage. Oh, there's something in there. There's definitely something in there. I'm just not sure I can get it open. <sighs> okay, there is something in here. I can't get it open. I don't want to I don't want to destroy it. Look at that. Oh, look, look at the Coke can, and then it's got the Coke stain, actually. But it was probably supposed to go that way. Gold. Coca-Cola bottle. Coca-Cola can, keychain. Keychains is a whole nother area of collectability. So the beautiful thing is when you find things like this that cross over to Coke is collectible and pins are collectible, you can hit a dual market. This is just awesome. This is just, it, it's never ending. Look at all the coolness here. It's never ending. Don't worry. We'll get in this thing soon. As soon as we can. I can't wait. I know you can't wait either.